So the flash actually might not be over. We might be getting more. We might be getting more content from the flash. And you might be asking me, hey, what's your evidence, right? Like, hey, you're telling me the flash, which was released in 2014, has had like four amazing seasons. And then a connects and then a couple all right seasons, and then a bad season is getting more content and you're the only one talking about it. Well, it's because of a specific detail. If you didn't know, season nine was not supposed to be the finale of The Flash. Well, how do I say this? Well, I guess I would have to go deeper into the history of The Flash, but I mean, Okay, uh, how do I describe it? Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just do it. But so basically, if you didn't know, early in the Flash's um run, like around um, I would have to say season five, a new writer named Eric Wallace stepped in. Basically, I think um, people love season one. It was amazing. Season two improved on it. But season three improved in some ways and were and also had and also decreased the quality in some ways. Season four was overall good but had some flaws in it. And then season five was a good season. Like you could put on any episode and watch it, but it wasn't as good as the original. And the reason for that was because the um person who made those seasons wanted very story to end. If you didn't know, in season three, there was something called the Speed Force Prison that was meant to hold the main villain of that season before he escaped, right? He, he was in there, but then he escaped. But it needs a speedster in there, right? Basically, when it, who, whatever speedsters in the Speed Force Prison, they experience the most painful moment of their life over and over again for all of eternity until they um get until they leave right and what happened was that when Savitar was defeated and uh, the speedster that was taking his place after he left Jay Garrick was also rescued to help them win the fight the speed force prison started to go berserk it was a it was bleeding energy on the earth right because it needed somebody in there so, um, um, so, so, Barry took his place. If you don't know the Speed Force can manifest, ma ma manifest itself, like, choose somebody to have a physical form version of it, right? Like, the Speed Force is a omnipresent force, so I don't think humans could see it, so I has to choose what it looks like to humans. And it chose Barry's mom because in an earlier season, when Barry lost, uh, when Barry lost his speed and Team Flash managed to bring it back, the Speed Force grabbed him and told him a lesson of how he needs to learn and how he needs to move from his mother's death. And uh, the way she managed to convince him to do that was to was using his mom as like a um uh, like a representation of the speed force to talk to him so um the speed force comes down in a like physical manifestation of barry's dead mom nora and tells him he needs to go in now, why didn't Jay Gera go in there? Because it was help for him. He experienced the worst moment of his life for all of eternity. And if you were in issues, you wouldn't exactly be jumping at the opportunity to go back in and say, Oh, yippee, yippee, I'll go back in there and experience the worst moment of my life for all of eternity. And also the Speed Force said Barry needed to come in. So he probably thought, oh, hey, the Speed Force is telling specifically Barry to come, so it probably won't allow me in. And even if it did, I don't want to. So he, the show creator wanted to end it there, right? But then the CW forced him to continue. And in season four, they said that the reason they managed it, they showed how they got Barry back. And it was because they would use his electric current, like, you know, when speeches run, they give off electricity. 
Um, they will, he, Barry has his own specific lightning, everybody does. So they would use that and Barry's DNA to, to track him into the speed force and then open up a portal and pull him out. And then they would shoot a cork sphere in, which is something that contains a lot of Barry's lightning and a lot of his DNA in there. So, so it could take his place. So then that way, if the speed, so the speed force wouldn't go all bonkers on us because they would still think that um somebody that Barry was in there, right? And because of this, because the show was continuing even though it was supposed to end, the director got got kind of mad. I, I guess it got kind of mad and was like, fine, I'll have to do this. But it's like when a kid is forced to do their homework. Yeah, it'll be all, yeah, it'll be good, but there'll be some mistakes that they intentionally did or accidentally did and didn't want to fix it because they didn't want to do this. And then in season five, it went down in quality again. So they hired Eric Wallace and, oh boy, he made it way worse. He, he was, no, he ruined the flash. Like, season six's main villain was just meh. Season seven's first main villain was bad. Then Godspeed was just meh. Then the season eight um villain, um Reverse Flash, was good. Nowhere near as good as the OGs, but no, no, nowhere near as bad as season six or seven's. Right? So basically, because of that, there was a different director. But, oh, how does this relate? Because it's because the Flash went downhill. The reason the Flash was canceled was because so many fans were complaining about how low quality it was. And in and, and in CW's eyes, they were like, oh, hey, they're probably just complaining about nothing. We shouldn't listen to them, and we should just continue let this director, who everybody agrees is bad, continue to do this show. And then eventually, when it didn't go down, they were like, oh, they'll just end it. But yeah, I think the CW's reason for ending The Flash so early, instead of giving it one last final season, as in for season 10, was because The Flash was very low in quality. So they just wanted to end it as fast as they could. But, and because of this, um, um, the season was rushed. Which is, which still isn't a good explanation. But, if you don't know in the season 9 poster, one of the posters is Barry's boots on a road or somewhere. With lightning around the boots, saying the final run on top, like on top of someone's bottom, and it's right. But I know, but I didn't really look that close into the poster because I was too hyped um, on waiting for the finale, disappointed with the finale, and then too busy hating on the finale. But then I looked closer, and there was a question mark on Barry's boot. You can see a question mark. It's in the thumbnail. There's a question mark. The lightning forms a question mark. Now you can see it in the thumbnail. The lightning that's around Barry's boots seems to form a question mark. Which I think means we might see the flash in the future. In fact, even in a video where Grant Gustin is packing all of his flash things, when he leaves off camera, lightning go is on the top a little lightning goes on the top right it just quickly goes by on the top right and even grant gustin said that uh, most that he's gonna play the character again but not in a season 10 in a cameo he said that he will always be known as a flash whatever movie he tries to play and people just know him as a flash and he's i think accepted that but what he also said was that he has, he thinks that's not the last time that he's going to wear the costume. He thinks he's going to wear it again. Right? Kind of like how they're doing a bunch of cameos to older movies and new movies. What most likely is going to happen is that Grant Gustin's Flash is going to make cameos in the future.
But also, um, uh, let's talk about Ezra's m- movie. That's gonna be the next upload. And why Grant couldn't be in it. And then after that, there'll be a Portal 3 upload. Right? Um, but yeah. Sorry, I haven't been posting. It was originally because of state testing. Then some of my vacation arrived. And I was like, hey, I don't want to spend all that time making content. I just want to enjoy and chillax after that was over. High school started. Like. And also, it's really hard to find good stuff to talk about. Because at this point, you're just so used to it. But yeah, um. Uh, my bad, G. My bad for not posting, but, um, yeah. If you're wondering why I sound weird, it's because I'm sick. Yeah. Um, what happened was that my mom was sick, but because, you know, she does so much and makes so much around the house, um, uh, it got me sick. No, actually, no, that's not the reason. Because my sister's not sick. I honestly think it's because I've been hanging around with my mom so much, right? Uh, somehow I got sick too, or I got sick from school. Right, my um throat hurts, right, and then my nose is plugged. Whenever I lay down, my nose gets super plugged. And then I wake up, and then I get up, and then um uh, then it's a lot more clearer. It's still you know stuff, but it's a little better. And then I try to blow my nose, and that helps a little bit, but it's still there. And then I sneeze, and then I, you know, have to blow my nose even more, and that helps even more, but it's still there. But yeah, um, so yeah, but, um, I honestly think I should just transform this channel into, like, a movie channel, talking about the comics. Cut, like, the Flash ending, the Ezra's movie, and video games and comic books. So let me know that in the comments, I guess, if anybody even watches these.